Hi guys, it's Robby46, here we giving yourselves back to Ride 3 on the Xbox One X. It's time to do another World Endurance race, and uh, yeah, we're going to get on with it. So the next race we're going to be doing is going to be at Monza. This is number three. We've already done Imola and the uh, Nürburgring GP circuit, so we're going off to Monza today. And uh, I'm going to be using the Honda today, so the Team Honda Endurance Racing. So let's get on with the race. All right, so all the settings are as they should be. And of course, uh, we have had the update since, so it'll be interesting to see how we get on with this. Oh, my rider was a bit slack off the line there. He didn't run to the bike very quickly. Okay, here we go. So, 20 laps we've got to do around here. And it's not been a good start. We've already lost a position. Now, two. Alright, get it stopped for the first chicane. Oh, we've lost another position. Maybe another one. Oh, yeah, we have. Okay, wow. Not a good start then. Back down to eighth place. So we're going to see how the Honda goes. Wow, take, take that corner flat out. So we've moved up a position to seventh. We need to get it stopped for the next chicane. And we have... Okay, again, another position made up to 6th, which is behind 5th place. So we can see the leader. He's not really breaking away, which is good. I mean, we've got loads of laps to try and get to the front, so we can just pick him off as and when we can like that. So we're up to 5th now. Slipstream this guy, and we'll get past, and we're into 4th. Little gap to 3rd, half a second, through the next couple of corners. Ascari and out we come and we've got a great drive and we're into third and second so we're not that far away from the leader now he is just there and on the brakes we close in a bit a little bit of oh hang on no oh he's not actually got got past there. I thought that BMW was going to come through on the inside through the Parabolica, but he couldn't quite manage to stick it through the inside. Couldn't take as much speed, so we managed to hold on to second place, get it stopped for the chicane. Don't go into the back of him. Well, that didn't work. I tried going around the outside through the first part to put me up the inside for the second part of the chicane, but didn't quite work. So second place remaining at the moment. Bit too hot into there that time. That lost us a bit of time. So again, if I get to the front and I start pulling away and it seems like it's just going to be like that for a while, I will stop talking. But again, I will keep my microphone on in case anything happens throughout the race. But at the moment, we're looking good. We are slipstreaming the leader. We're going to be able to get past that Kawasaki. Maybe get him on the brakes into Ascari. On the brakes. There we go. Can we get it stopped in time? Yes, we can. And got it tipped in nicely. Oh, no. He's trying to fight back. That pushed me a bit wide and cocked up my exit as well. So slipstream. Try and get past down this straight. He's on the inside. Last time we uh, had someone on the inside and we managed to hold him off. Not this time by the looks of it. No. Can we get the exit? Just spun up the rear a little bit. Okay. Trying to slipstream him now down the start finish straight. And there we go. Cross the line at exactly the same time apparently. But we are in the lead. Now we're getting on the brakes ready for the first chicane. The Honda doesn't feel that stable in the brakes has to be said does like to move about quite a bit under heavy braking so that is something we're gonna to have to watch out for so I'm just gonna do a few time trial laps now just to see if we can break him and if we can then we can just go about the rest of the race as we can just turn it into a time trial he really closed up there though into the entrance of that chicane just keep it nice and tidy we're only on lap 3 of 20, so we've still got a long way to go. But we 
We are looking good. We will be coming up to some really difficult endurance races coming up. Um, like Sugo in the wet. Really not looking forward to that. Macau, I'm not looking forward to either. Um, Portomeo as well, not looking forward to that. But who knows? It may be a bit of a surprise, but yeah. Have to wait and see how they go. But uh, I, I don't know if they've changed since they've done the update because they have um, fixed a few things with the update. Um, they've apparently tweaked the hand in it a little bit. I haven't actually used this bike before, so I can't really tell. Um, maybe I should jump on a bike that I've used before and kind of compare to how it used to feel and if it feels any different now. They fixed the traction control for the um, race modified 600s. Because as you remember, when I was using my uh, Camel livery Yamaha R6 uh, race modified, um, even though in the wet I had my traction control turned on, it wasn't actually working. So yeah, they've uh, fixed that apparently. So that's that's good. They've um, tweaked the drag races as well, and I think I saw that they they. Um, tweaked the riding school as well because a few people were complaining about the riding school so they've tweaked that I've never actually bothered with the riding school because I mean I have a lot of experience with motorcycle games so I didn't bother with the riding school at all um, but yeah apparently a few people were struggling with that so whether that was bugged or something but apparently they've they fixed that now um, there's been some other fixes and tweaks as well. I think they've uh, done some online stuff as well, so I'll have to go back online to uh, to test that out, see if that's improved at all. But yeah, so far so good. I just hope that in the wet that they, the um, AI just aren't as crazy and stupid as they used to be in the wet, because they used to run round like they were in the dry in the wet, so I really hope they fix that, because in wet races we're getting very frustrated on this game because the AI could just whack the throttle open like mid corner without worrying about spinning up the rear and uh, you just lightly touch the throttle at the same time and your rear just comes around and down you go so yeah it's going to be interesting to see when we get to some wet races whether they've actually fixed that um, but yeah we'll, we'll have to wait and see I mean Sugo endurance race is probably going to be the biggest test um, yeah so hopefully they're they're on their way to to fixing the the niggles with the game um, like I said that the wet races for me is they're becoming really frustrating because in the dry we can beat the AI sometimes we can dominate them a bit like what we're doing now but um in the wet we just cannot get close to them because they just seem to be able to do dry lap times in the wet and it's very frustrating so yeah that's something I really hope they fixed um, yeah I think that's roughly it for the patch notes I know that they've fixed a few issues like graphical issues with certain bikes and that so yeah that should be fine and I think they've tweaked some of the, the bike sounds as well to try and improve them so they're definitely listening, but it seems to me that they only seem to be bringing out the patches when it coincides with a DLC release. So I, I kind of get it in one way because they, they're just thinking, well, we just as well roll it all out at the same time. But at the same time, I would rather have it sooner rather than later so that um, everything is sorted and then if we have to do another update just for the DLC then so be it but I'd rather have the fixes before the DLC but it seems at the moment that if we get a uh, well we can see when the dates of the DLC are coming out then we will kind of be able to guess roughly when the next patches will come out because it usually comes roughly about a day before so they release the, the patch notes and that and, and the patch itself stating what they fixed and then that patch itself makes way for the DLC so that's the way they seem to be working at the moment that may change and I, I do hope that it does because I've been fine if there's an issue I'd rather them get on it fix it as quick as possible and then it's done 
but um, yeah, other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. So we're on lap six. We have got a massive lead. Can't even see the other guys on the mini map. This hasn't been the best of laps. We've gone 1.1 seconds slower. 5.4 seconds is our lead. So we'll just slide in the rear a bit. So I think at the end of this lap, I'm going to shut up for a bit, leave the microphone on and see what happens for the rest of the race. It may just turn out or turn into a big time trial session for me, just chasing lap times. And I think that's what I may start doing. Just I'm going to start pushing and see if we can uh, start doing some quicker lap times and beat my current quickest lap time. I didn't really take much notice of what it was. But this one has not beaten it because we're just under a second off of that lap time. So it's a, like a 138.4 or something that we've done. Um, I don't know. We just have to keep pushing and see if we can break that lap time. So we've got over a 7 second lead. And I shall leave you guys for a bit of peace and quiet. Enjoy the bike sounds and enjoy me just doing a bit of time trial around here. Because at the moment we're not really uh, in a battle with anyone. They're too far behind. But uh, I... Well, like doing the time trial, it'll be interesting to see if I can lap anyone on this race because we managed to lap one person at the Nürburgring GP circuit. But, I don't know, this one, I don't think we're pulling away as quickly as that race, so it wouldn't surprise me if we don't end up lapping anyone in this race, but we'll see. So, yeah, I'll speak to you guys very shortly and uh, I'll leave the microphone on, so enjoy.
Oh, no, that almost went horribly wrong. Okay. Wow, that lap was going well. But uh, I think we've just lost our time now. Would have lost too much time from that massive slide. Yeah, so we didn't manage to beat our time that time. So I'm going to push for another lap to see what we can get. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Right near the end of the race. 35 second lead. And we almost just had a massive high side coming out of the Parabolica. That's definitely one corner you don't want to crash. Especially in real life where there's not really any corners you want to crash at all. Full stop. Wow, that was, that was close. We are on par at the moment to beat our current fastest lap. We're just going to have to take it easy around the Parabolica. I think I just got on the, the throttle a bit too early. And just try to get the acceleration out. But uh, I was a bit too optimistic with the throttle. But that was very close to a crash. Right, what is it looking like at the next split? Are we still under our time? Yes, only just though. 5.8 second lead. Okay, that felt better through there. Okay, still very, very close time-wise. Okay, this is the corner. Got to be nice and gentle on the throttle. Come on. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Have we got the drive to the finish line or the start finish line we've got one more lap to go yeah that was our fastest lap 137.357 on the penultimate lap of the race one lap left to go dare I try and push for one more lap to see if we can beat that time again I'm gonna give it a go that's for sure hasn't been the most exciting of races we've uh wow we are going quite a bit quicker at the moment over a tenth and a half quicker than our previous time so we could end up doing the fastest lap on the last lap of the race 38.4 seconds yeah we're not going to catch anyone to lap because uh, like i said a long time ago in this video now but um yeah i'm going quicker than the ai just not as quick uh, I'm not breaking away from them as quick as what I was at the Nürburgring. So yeah, I can't... Oh, we are dead on time at the moment. We are level. So it's going to be all about the exit of Ascari. That felt pretty good. I think I may have left it in second gear for a bit too long though yet. A whole tenth behind. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that up through the Parabolica give it a go but I think we're not going to be able to beat that time so what was it 137.357 no I don't think we're going to do it but fastest lap of the race on the penultimate lap that's not bad going yeah we didn't do it so that was our fastest lap our penultimate lap and we've unlocked an achievement Italian tradition okay we've unlocked the sixth special volume in career mode there we go that is uh, endurance race number three done. Monza. 30 stars for us. Very good. Yeah, that, that one was fairly easy. I only almost chucked it up the road once or twice. Yeah, that moment at the Parabolica was insane. So yeah, 44.4 seconds we won by in the end. So there we go. Level 6 is now unlocked. There we go. And then it's just a final one to unlock. And then we've unlocked all of the categories. So the next one is Road America, guys. But that is it from me. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.